Okay, C. Lindelof videos, TI Inspire, Cass, how to convert degrees with decimals into degrees, minutes, and seconds. Here's the example I'm going to use tonight. I'm going to do a couple, I guess, but I'm going to take 128.77 degrees, and we're going to determine that that equals 128 degrees, 46 minutes, and 12 seconds. You could grind this out by hand or with your calculator, but it's so easy with this particular calculator, it's actually worth taking a look at. So let's go ahead and do that. First off, I want you to notice on my calculator here, I'm in radian mode, and I do that because of the type of math I do most often, so I just leave it in radian mode. There, I have done a bunch of videos on how to change your settings, but for right now, I'm going to leave it like this. And all I'm going to do is this, because I am in radian mode, I'm going to put in my 100, I'm going to put in my 128 degrees, right? So my 128 Right, I said 0.77, so 0.77. Right now, the calculator has no idea what I'm talking about here, but it's actually a really easy thing to, to uh, get with your calculator. So I'm going to go down here by the G key right here at the bottom. You see it right here? And I'm going to hit the key right next to it. That's this one that just showed red. And if you look right here, here's degrees. So without changing the settings on my calculator, I told the calculator that I didn't want to talk in radians. But instead, I was going to be talking in degrees, so that's what that symbol is for that. After that, it gets really, really easy. I'm going to go over to the catalog. Press the catalog button. If you go over to number two, and to get to number two, just press the number two in your calculator, and it will take you right here. And then I'm just going to go down to here. I'm going to go down to where's it? angle. I'm going to, go to angle. And then so when I hit the angle key, it gives me another sub menu. I'm going to, go to that sub menu, and I am going to ask it to convert to right convert to deg degrees minutes seconds right so this is what I have this is what it should look like on your screen and then when I hit enter and then when I hit enter right and this is what I we expected right 128 degrees 46 minutes 12 seconds so I guess we could do you want to do let's do one more just for whatever actually we'll do two more really quick because I want to show you this weird um, rounding thing it does I'm gonna do the same thing right 36 point um, two five four hopefully you're doing the same thing on your calculator with me if you hope you have time to do that but all the way down here by the uh, alpha alpha keys and then right here the one that just showed red right for me because I am in radian so I have to put it into degrees right then we went back to the catalog and because we just did this, remember I hit 2, and after that I went down to that sub menu and chose angle, which gave me this menu, and it's convert to degrees, minutes, seconds. That, and then hit enter, and it converts this. Uh, I was swimming around, and I found this one that was a little bit interesting, so I want to show you this, because it seems to be a mistake, but it's not. It's a rounding thing. So let's do run more really quickly if you want to. Um, I'm going to do 28 and it, this is just a specific one that I saw somewhere. 28.95. Again, I'm going to go to degrees, right? So I'm going to go to degrees. Hit degrees, right? Going to go to my catalog. Just to mess with this for a second, let's do this just so I can show you this again. Usually you come in here at 1. Remember, I'm just going to type in the number 2 to get here. Of course, this thing went to the, right? I went to angle which opened up this submenu right here. It's important because when you do this the first couple of times, it's kind of a pain to remember exactly how to do it. Then I'm going to convert. Right? But check this out when I hit this. This seems wrong, doesn't it? Because remember, it's it's the same as a, a clock, you know, 60 minutes, 60 seconds, etc. So here it has 6 shows 60 seconds, which is a really weird anomaly. But it's a rounding error. So don't freak out about that if you see it. It's a rounding error. This came up somewhere really close to this. So it rounded. Wherever my float values are set, it rounded to that. So, okay, hopefully this worked out good for you, and it was a meaningful thing. I mean, it was worthwhile. Um, so we just worked on how to convert degrees with decimals to degrees, minutes, and seconds with your TI Inspire CAS calculator. Thanks for watching the video. Questions or comments, please leave them. And if you haven't already subscribed, Seriously, please do. I appreciate it.